Make sure you watch this entire video for an absolutely free breakdown in baseball tonight, Saturday, April 17th. There's games all day, but we're going for the latest one on the board to give everybody time to wake up, watch this video. We're 43 and 27 on the year on free YouTube releases. We're five and one on big ticket releases. That puts us at 63%. We are up to 64.8. We're back down. Now we got to climb back up. What are we going to do to make it up? We're giving you surf and turf tonight. Two plays within the same game. You know how we like to do it. The Astros began their series against the Mariners last night. The Astros were up three early. The Mariners made a late run to come back and win the game. The Mariners are hot. Um, you know, they're, they're, the numbers for them are matching up. Surprisingly, they're in first place in the division. They have a 9-5 and five record. Um, and they don't have their best player, Kyle Lewis, right now. The Astros started off hot, but they fizzled out. Zach Greinke's 1-1, one and one, not having the best year so far. Um, his ERA is 4.08, which for him is very high. He's squaring off against Chris Flexen, who pitched five shutout innings in his first start at home, but then got rocked by the Twins in his second start. But he has quality pitches. Um, he fans about five or six guys a game. The only player on this Astros lineup to have faced him was Carlos Correa. He went one and two with an RBI. Um, tons of data for the Mariners' bats against Zach Greinke. Last season, he went 0-2 against the Mariners, 6.02 ERA. Kyle Seager killed him. Kyle Seager bat 462 against Greinke with three RBIs last year. We just don't trust him. Um, the Mariners are very hot, one of the hottest things in baseball right now, and the issue is Flexen can't pitch against righties. So this is the only thing that scares us from going full Mariners fan wagon here, bandwagon. Dating back to 2019, righties hit over 300 against him. The Astros lineup is filled with righties. Uh, Correa, Diaz, Guriel. Now, even with their best players out, um, Flexen, Flexen is, you know, he's going he's gonna to be... Uh, a little bit of an issue and, and and for this reason we're going with the over as the main 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 play the over eight and a half runs get it now get it early before it goes up to nine and then as a little that's the turf and then the surf a little lobster on the top is going to be the mariners plus one and a half runs which means all they have to do is win the game or they can lose by a run and still win the bet. There's your surf and turf, guys. I will see you tomorrow, Sunday, uh, April 18th, for more MLB action. Stay tuned.